Alilah al Wahid Amin, in the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God Amin. This Sunday is the Sunday before the Nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ. Four days from today, the Orthodox Church will celebrate the birth of Christ. As a walahad, maqabal, Eid Milad, al Rabbi Yasu, al Masih, Arbatiyam, will Kanis and Orthodoxy, Satahtafil, the Milad, al Rabb, Yasu, al Masih. إنجيل اليوم إنجيل اليوم إذا منركز ونسمع عدد 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 نشوف قصة ولادة الرب يسوع المسيح ونشوف كلمات أي كلمات وردت بالإنجيل من ألفين سنة وللأسف الشديد البعض الناس اللي بيعتبروا حالهم المسيحيين فسروا هالآيات بطريقة مختلفة جدا واعتبروا أن الإنجيل يتفسر بطريقة حرفية اليوم بدي فسر ثلاث أربع آيات من اللي نحن قرأنا الإنجيل الإنجيل القديس متى الصحاح الأول وشفتوا كيف في بداية الإنجيل كان عم نعدد أقرباء خلينا نقول يقولوا بالعربي النسب أقرباء الرب يسوع المسيح النسل اللي إجا إلى مجيء وميلاد الرب يسوع المسيح Today we read from the Gospel of St. Matthew chapter 1 verse 1 all the way till verse 24 25 and it talks about the birth and before we got to the birth we heard all the generation before the birth of Christ so we can prove to the world where and from where the Lord Jesus Christ came. But all that, it's, it's easy, and it's, it's easy to understand. What I'm going to explain to you, and I hope you can keep your ears uh, and your eyes on my lips, because I'm going to explain to you things that the world will explain it the opposite. Like, fiancé, wife, and in the end of the Divine Liturgy, we heard a shocking news that he knew her not until she had her firstborn baby. And that the verse that everyone, when I say everyone, those who are outside the, the, the one holy Catholic apostolic church, they explain it their own way and people say so what if the Virgin Mary had kids afterwards does it change my faith well maybe it doesn't change your faith but it changed the uh, who's Mary it changes who's the mother Mary and it is not okay for you to say who's the Blessed Virgin Mary. Listen to the gospel. 
and keep your eyes on the gospel. And if you want to know who's the Virgin Mary, read the gospel. Don't listen to pastors and to groups who's been around only for a couple hundred years. I say it and I keep saying it. They don't know more than the gospel tells us the truth. So brothers and sisters, let us start with chapter 1, verse 18. Pay attention. And if you don't mind, read after me. Now the birth of the Lord Jesus. Now the birth of the Lord Jesus. Was as follows. Was as follows. After his mother Mary. After his mother Mary. Was. Was. Betrothed. Betrothed. To Joseph. To Joseph. Before they came together. Before they came together. She was found. She was found. With child. With child. Of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. أما ولادة الرب يسوع المسيح فكانت هكذا لما كانت مريم أمه مخطوبة ليوسف قبل أن يجتمعا وجدت حبلة من الروح القدس She was betrothed to Saint Joseph Number one Allow me to say this to you The pictures that you see from the Western world painting Saint Joseph or the movies that people make to tell you the story about the birth I tell you loud and clear Saint Joseph is not a young man wasn't a young man when he betrothed the Blessed Virgin Mary Saint Joseph was in his 60s going to his 70s when he betrothed the Blessed Virgin Mary when she was 13 years old he wasn't a young man he was old that's one al Qadis Yusuf مش مثل ما بتشوفوا بالصور أو بعض الأيقونات الغربية اللي دخلت على الكنيسة بيصوروا القديس يوسف شاب شاب صغير القديس يوسف كان عمره أكثر من 65 سنة وقتها خطب العذراء والعذراء كان عمرها 13 Son. What is the word engagement? We call it in the gospel that she was betrothed to Saint Joseph. That's the first thing I want you to pay attention to. Back in the days, in a Jewish community, in a Jewish tradition, engagement and marriage is one. So there's no such a thing called engagement and we'll get mar married later. In a Jewish tradition, engagement, as I said, and marriage is one. في زمن اليهود وما قبل مجيء الرب يسوع المسيح كانت كلمة الخطوبة وهي وقعت كثير من الناس بفخ الشيطان كلمة الخطوبة هي مثل الزواج ما في أي غبار على كلمة أز... يعني كلمة أنا خاطب وأنا متزوج هي وحدي and I'll prove it to you today Verse number 18, it tells us, before they came together, before they came together, she was found with a baby from the Holy Spirit. So why the gospel said before they came together, 
Because engagement is marriage. And people can be together as husband and wife during the engagement because engagement is marriage. It's right there on verse 18. Some people receive the blessing of the engagement and they come together later in time because maybe they're not ready to move in to one house. So the gospel today tells us for those who may think that this baby is from Joseph, verse 18 tells us it's not. So they have not came together yet. Why St. Matthew wrote it like this? Because not even 150 years later, in the year 160, we had a heresy. We had a heresy. It's called the Nazarene heresy. And they believed that St. Joseph was the real father of the Lord Jesus. Who were the Nazarenes? Jewish converted to Christianity, but they, but they kept the tradition of Judaism. And they couldn't accept the fact that there's a baby from the Holy Spirit. So they called themselves Nazarenes. And we were against those groups. And the church fought those groups and said, you are a heresy. Because the baby came from the Holy Spirit, according to St. Matthew, chapter 1, verse 18. <laughs> إنه الهطرة مخطوبة من يوسف وبيقول وقبل أن يجتمعا قبل أن يجتمعا وجدت حبلة من الروح القدس فإجا مثل ما أنا قلت لكم كلمة خطوبة هي زواج بس الظاهر عبيقلنا الكتاب المقدس ما صار أي شيء بين القديس يوسف والعذراء أم النور بس عم بيركزوا على حبل العذراء وبيقول الكتاب المقدس ان هذا الحبل هو من الروح القدس ونشكر الله انه كتب لنا الكتاب هذا الشيء لانه بعد 150 سنه من مجيء المسيح انا عم بقول لكم من اليوم لنرجع لورا 1850 سنه بسنة 160 ميلادي طلعوا مسيحيين من اليهود سموا حالهم النصارى النصارى هدول النصارى بآمنوا أنه يوسف نام مع العذراء وجاب المسيح فإذا هم يهود مسيحيين بس بنظرنا هني هراطقة هراطقة يعني مش هني على الإيمان الصحيح تستغربوا أنه الفكر البروتستانتي من وين إجاء اليوم البروتستانت بيقولوا كمان أن القديس يوسف عايش مع العذراء زواج طبيعي فإذا أنا قلت وجرأت وقلت كأبونا عم قلكن إياها وما بخاف حدا أن النصارى في هذاك الزمان الكنيسي قالت عنهم هراطقة فكل من يقول أن القديس يوسف نام مع العذراء فهو إنسان هرطوقي وإيمانه هرطوقي I said it loud and clear the Nazarene, according to the church, and you could Google this if you want to, according to our church, they are a heresy. Because they believe that St. Joseph slept with the mother Mary and had the baby Lord Jesus. After, after almost 1,400 years, here we have another group of people and I say it loud and clear. I say it with my loud voice. The Protestants, they believe also the same way. That the mother Mary had a relationship with St. Joseph and had more babies from him. What's the difference between the Nazarene and the Protestant today? Open your eyes and open your ears and do not let anyone deceive you and tell you otherwise. Here's the gospel. It's very clear.
Engagement, repeat after me. Engagement, Engagement. And, marriage and marriage is one. Is one. According, according to the Jewish, to the Jewish tradition. tradition. Let's move on. Before I go on, I'm going to give you one example from the book of Genesis, chapter 29, verse 21. I'm going to give you an example from the book of Genesis, chapter 29, verse 21. لاعطيكم مثل من انجيل عهد القديم التكوين 29 21 اسمعوا repeat after me so you, you will hear me better and Jacob and Jacob said said unto unto Laban Laban give me give me my wife my wife for my days for my days are are fulfilled fulfilled you know who Jacob is Jacob is the son of Isaac. When his mother sent him to Iraq to get married, his cousin, the gospel says he got engaged to Rachel, the daughter of Laban. But what does Jacob say after he worked for his father-in-law and he's ready to leave his house? He said, give me my wife. Why he didn't say, give me my fiancé? Because fiancé and wife is the same according to the Jewish. بنت خاله من العراق لأنه الخطوبة والزواج هن واحد فلهذا السبب شو بيقول وقال يعقوب للبان أعطني امرأتي لأن أيامي قد كملت امرأتي فإذا ما في شيء اسمه خطيبتي عند العهد القديم verse number 19 bear with me today Today we have a very heavy, strong uh, explanation. Repeat after me. Then Joseph, then Joseph her, husband, her husband, what happened now? Her husband. In verse 18, he was the fiancé. Now verse 19, he's the husband? Repeat after me. Being a just man and not willing to make her public example was minded to put her away secretly. فيوسف رجلها إذ كان بارا ولم يشأ أن يشهرها أراد تخليها عنها سرا. They are engaged. They have not came together. Thank God. Because the baby is from not him. And the verse 19 says, verse 19 says, he want to leave her. Because she was pregnant. But he was a righteous man. Repeat after me. He was, he was. a righteous, a righteous. man. He want to give her away secretly. Like he wants to just put her somewhere and walk away. Secretly. Righteous man. But do you trick her? Hibli. Huwe, but do you trick her? Lahannu, mannu zawja. Yani, ma sar fi aya alaqa baynu bayna. Wa hibli. Fa al-Qaddis Yusuf dakhal bi صراع شو بدي يعمل بدي يتركها لأنه يحبني let's go to verse 20 repeat after me he wants to leave her now but now let's see what happened on verse 20 repeat after me but while he thought on these things the things that he wants to leave the mother Mary behold the angel of the Lord appeared unto him 
in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, fear not. Fear not to take, to take Mary, Mary, your wife, your wife, for that, for that which is, which is conceived in her, conceived in her, is from the Holy Spirit. ولكن فيما هو متفكر في هذه الأمور عم يفكر ودي تركه إن زملاك الرب قد زار له في حلم قائلا يا يوسف ابن داود لا تخف أن تأخذ مريم امرأتك لأن الذي حمل بها به فيها هو من الروح القدس. He's thinking, what do I need to do? She's not my wife, and she's pregnant. The devil is playing in his mind. Even though he was a righteous man, you wonder why sometimes the devil plays in your head, and you say, what did I do? You don't have to do anything, but the devil likes to play with you. Saint Joseph was a righteous man, and he's thinking to leave Mary, because now he's doubting. How is she pregnant? يعني يوسف البار عم بفكر يترك العذراء لأنه شاف حبلي ودي يتركها ليش نحنا كمان كم من مرة بيجي بيشتغل معنا الشيطان منقول ليش ليش عم يحاربنا الشيطان إذا القديس يوسف بيقول عنه الإنجيل بار والشيطان عم بيشتغل معه شو نحنا مثله أبرار إن شاء الله نكون أبرار بس هوني بدي وضح شغلة كتير مهمة I would like to explain something very important to you he was thinking I want you to understand what I'm saying to you. Saint Joseph is thinking, and the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream. How can he be thinking? And how can he be thinking? And the angel appeared to him in a dream. كيف واحد بيفكر؟ وبيجي عنده الملاك في الحلم In the Greek language Pay attention In the Greek language The dream called Onero But in the gospel It doesn't say He was in a dream of the Greek language. It says, Orama, which means, while he was thinking, he had a vision. There's a difference between Onero and Orama. In the Greek language, it is Orama. So basically, he was not sleeping when he saw the angel. If you read this in English or Arabic, you get to, to understand that Saint Joseph had a dream, just like we have a dream every night or some nights. Saint Joseph's case, it wasn't just a dream, it was a vision. It's called Orama. Orama means vision. Onero means a dream. So it was a vision from the angel and told him, don't think like this. And don't worry about what's going into your head. Take Mary as a wife. Because what's in her stomach, in her womb, is from the Holy Spirit. So don't worry, Joseph, about anything. This is when we, as a believers, believe that Joseph has nothing to do with the baby Lord Jesus. Because the angel said, while he was in his orama, in his vision, don't worry, take her as a wife. Honey, the Malak, they say in the angel, and the Malak, the Lord, has been in the 
ترجموا كلمة الحلم من اليوناني إلى كلمة إنه الإنسان يمكن يفهمها باللغة العربي الحلم هو إنه إنسان عم بيحلم ما بس باللغة اليونانية كلمة الحلم مش الحلم النوم كلمة الإنجيل الحلم أي رؤية القديس يوسف هو قاعد عم يفكر شاف رؤية مش هو ينايم عم بيحلم أحلامه السعيدة لأنه ممكن بالحلم يجي الشيطان عليه أما الشيطان ما بيقدر يحكي معنا برؤية مثل ما الملاك بيحكي معنا برؤية فإذا اللي كلم القديس يوسف هو الملاك بس حكى برؤية يعني شافوا شافوا بكل معنى الكلمة وباللغة العربية كمان حاولوا يترجموها إلى قدر الإمكان من اليونان العربي شو بيقول لك قد ظهر له قد ظهر له فإذا شاف شيء شاف شيء ما بينشاف في الحلم وهيك القديس يوسف عرف انه العطرة ام النور حبلي من الروح القدس finally verse number 24 and 25 repeat after me then Joseph being raised from sleep did as the angel of the Lord commanded him did as the angel of the Lord commanded him and took his and and took to him and took to him his wife his wife فلما استيقظ يوسف من النوم فعل كما أمره الملاك الرب وأخذ امرأته he took his wife I don't have to explain to you no more wife and engagement and 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 fiance one time they say fiance one time they say a wife because they both are the same but he listened to the angel and he took her and he never left her secretly mataraka sami'a la sawt al malak finally verse 25 this is what everybody makes their life miserable and they don't understand this final verse pay attention هذا اخر عدد وهون اللي كثير بيوقعوا بالفخ Repeat after me. He knew her not. He knew her not till she had. Till she had brought forth. Brought forth her firstborn. Her firstborn son. Son. And he called his name. And he called his name. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. ولم يعرفها حتى ولدت ابنها البكر ودعاه اسمه الرب يسوع. ولم يعرف بيجوا البروتستانت وبعض من المسيحيين اللي مش عارفين الانجيل وبيتجرأوا بيقولوا شوفوا شو مكتوب بال 25 ولم يعرف ولم يعرف حتى ولدت ابنها البكر يعني بده يفسروا لنا ويقولوا لنا انه من بعد ما ولدت العذراء ام النور القديس يوسف صار زوجة وعايش معها وجاب اولاد من العذراء يعني مش من وراء كلمة قال ايش ولم يعرفها حتى كلمة حتى ولدت ابنها البكر I'll explain to you in Arabic give me a moment Many people falls, they follow a, a wrong teaching when they read this verse and they say, he knew her not until she had her firstborn baby. So another word is, he knew her after the, he knew her after the birth. What a shame to think this way. Let me give you one verse from the Bible. And tell me what it means. What does the word until means? Repeat after me. The word, the word. Until. until 
If you read Psalm 123, verse 2. What does Psalm 123, verse 2 says? Read it after me, please. So our eyes, so our eyes. Wait, wait upon the Lord our God. Until, Until that he have mercy, mercy upon, us. upon us. So Psalms 123 verse 2 says, You're going to keep your eyes on the Lord till he has mercy on you. And when he has mercy on you, give him your back. That's not what it says. The word until means never keep your eyes away from the Lord Jesus. The word until doesn't mean I will keep my eyes on you, but when I receive your grace, I will show you my back. It doesn't work that way. The word until means I shall keep my eyes on you yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Even when I receive your grace, my eyes is up on you forever. So what the word until means, he knew her not until she had her first born baby means he knew her never. Repeat after me. He knew her never. He knew her never. It doesn't mean he knew her after the birth. Because I just gave you one example from the Bible. And there's many examples I could give you what the, uh, the word until means. Until doesn't mean he knew her after. It means he never got to know her as a husband and wife because she's a very special lady. She brought the Savior. She brought the only God that we could be saved through Him and only saved through the Lord Jesus Christ only. The same way you love your mother, the same way you care about your mother, the same way you will go out of your way for your own mother. The Lord Jesus Christ loves his mother and he will go his way to protect her and to keep her version before, during and after. And today, I say it loud and clear. She is in heaven and she's sitting on his right side waiting for all of us to be united with his mother and the angels and the saints and everyone who lives in heaven. Keep the dirty minds away from you. Don't think she is just another lady. She's not just another lady. She's the mother of the Lord Jesus. Repeat after me. She's not just another lady. She's not just another lady. She, is she is the mother, the mother of, the Lord of the Lord Jesus. بيقول المزمور 123 للمعرفة من الإنجليزي هكذا عيوننا نحو الرب إلهنا حتى يترأف علينا يعني عم بيقول لك المزمور خلي عيونك على الله من بعد ما تاخذ الرأفة تبعه بتفرجيه عرض كتافك يعني بالشو كلمة حتى يعني خلي عيونك على الرب دائما مثل ما انا اعطيتكم هلا مثل واحد بقدر خليكم عشر ساعات واعطيكم عشر تالاف مثل من الانجيل المقدس انه كلمه حتى تعني نفر يعني مستحيل انه انت تشيل عينك عن الرب يسوع المسيح ولم يعرفها حتى ولدت يعني ولا عرفها ابدا حتى من بعد ما ولدت الرب يسوع المسيح ما حدا يجي يضحك عليكم ويقول لكم وزا حتى لو عرفها ما بيتغير إيماني لا يا أبني لا 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 أنت يمكن إيمانك ما تغير بس إيمانك باطل إيمانك تكون إيمان صحيح لازم يكون إيمانك أن العذراء هي عذراء قبل الولادة وفي الولادة وما بعد الولادة وكل ما لا يؤمن هكذا بدي أقول لنا اليوم الخبر اللي كله فيه 
سرور الملكوت ما راح تشوفها حتى لو بتآمن بالرب يسوع المسيح لأنه ملكوتك ناقص لأنه إيمانك ناقص إيمانك ناقص خلوا إيمانكم على الرب يسوع المسيح وعلى إنجيل وعلى الكنيسة لأنه كنيسته أعطتنا كل ما نعرفه اليوم وهذه هي الطريقة الصحيحة أن نرث الحياة الأبدية آمين